But I wanted to move on to where does black economic empowerment fit into this? And we, unfortunately in this country, there's a perception that black economic empowerment is something that we must comply with because it's in legislation. And in fact, Mervyn King, um, Professor Mervyn King, who is the chairman of the King Committee, believes very strongly that codes are much more powerful than legislation in achieving the kinds of objectives, economic objectives and ethical uh, objectives in a company. Because if you are required to do something, usually what happens is that you comply with it at the minimum level. And you don't really get into it and look at the advantages, etc. In South Africa, black economic empowerment is vital to our future. 90% of our population are black. We've got to build the skills, we've got to build ownership, we've got to change society going into the future if we're going to have a real, um, if, if we're going to be um, around in the future and achieve the economic objectives that we have. Unfortunately, many companies at the moment um, do comply with the code. They but to that minimum level. They're not investing in it. They don't see the, the, the benefits of actually investing in it. And as an institute, as the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, we have a, a project at the moment trying to do something similar to what's happened with integrated reporting, but from a BE perspective. Um, helping companies to understand the importance and how they should go about it and how they should be reporting to their stakeholders on BE. It is crucial to the future of our country. And now, perhaps the most important thing that I will say is what is the role of the accountants in the future around all these things that are happening here? We go back to what is an accountant and what are the basic skills of an accountant. In essence, they are measurers, they are reporters, and assurers. Those are the key competencies that they have. Now you've seen and you know about all the changes that are taking place in the environment around us at the moment. The social, environmental, the economic, all these things that are happening. And how are we responding as a profession? Are we dealing with measurement? Are we coming up with relevant measures? Are we coming up with the right way of reporting? Are we addressing the assurance problems that face the world? Because investors and other stakeholders are looking for guidance because we're the experts. And if we're not addressing them, do we have a future going, into the, going forward? And those are challenges that you guys, if you're going to accounting field, they're enormous challenges but they're exciting challenges because we're going to see dramatic changes, I believe, in the future and how accounting and reporting will develop. Integrated reporting is in its infancy. It's just started. It's already made a big impact around the world. We have, I'm part of the international body, um, where we've got 90 companies from around the world. And just now I'll show you some of those, those companies, some of the biggest companies in the world, all part of a pilot program looking at how they can improve integrated reporting because they believe it's the future. But as a profession, as the accounting profession, we've got to invest in this. We need to do our R&D. We need to address this. And that's why accounting today is going to be an extremely interesting career going forward from here because the challenges to address these, these issues and be more relevant uh, to society is something that will drive a lot of change. And then, very important in this whole equation is the role of the investor because we can talk as much as we like but if the investors are not using the information and they are the key people because they've put the money into the companies. If they're not using the information, they don't want it, then we're wasting our time. But there is a, a strong movement now amongst investors to uh, adopt 
sustainability principles. This is from the UNPRI, which is the United Nations Principles for, for Responsible Investment, um, which is, um, as I say, a United Nations organization developing principles for, for investors going forward. And you can see what they put into that, that code. I won't run through it in the detail, but there, there are the principles. And you can see that sustainable development is a major factor in the way that investors will be looking at investments into the future. Within South Africa, we have CRISA, which has taken those principles and advanced them still further. And they talk in their code about the need for integrated reporting. But there's a strong recognition amongst major investors today that there's a responsibility uh, that they have because they manage funds on behalf of you and I. And that's the problem that many investors are suddenly realizing and asset managers are realizing that they have a strong responsibility to the general uh, population because most investments today or a large proportion of investments are funds that have been invested on our behalf. Now you might not have pension funds at the moment but as soon as you begin work you're going to be putting money into pension funds or in investing. And investment managers are concerned about the responsibilities that they have and that they can be challenged going into the future um, if they are not responsible in the way that they deal with investment. So if they're putting money into organizations that are sustainable, they're going to be answered to that. And they're concerned about that. And so you can see quite a significant drive taking place. Um, as I was saying, I was talking to an investor, um, the person who looks after investments on behalf of a major, major investor in South Africa. Uh, and, and he was talking about how important this code is to them and how they implement it because they are concerned about the way um, that, that uh, they are viewed and how how they're implementing codes of this nature. I think uh, that's given an overview of the changes that have taken place. I just wanted to show you some of the companies that are involved in the integrated reporting um, uh, pilot group. You can see there Marks and Spencer, HSBC Bank, Volvo, um, National Bank of Australia, Microsoft, Coca-Cola. These are just a few of them. There are 90 of them all together. Uh, they each pay £10,000 a year to belong to it um, and they are really um, making a huge contribution, I think, to improving corporate reporting uh, in, in the world today. So thank you very much for, for listening to me. Hopefully um, this has given you a bit of a background as to what is happening in business. I think it's a really exciting development that's taking place in business today. And you can see how companies have moved from, from that early stage um, of, of making handouts to actually including and embedding sustainability, sustainable development and related issues in their strategy. So much so that in most organizations today, this has become the driving force behind where they're going into the future. Thank you.